Hey guys, Andy at The Skin Deep here. If you love the experience of the and and want to try it in the comfort of your own home, we have our handy dandy The And card game available at theskindeep.com slash shop so you can play with your loved ones. Enjoy. What's one experience you wish we never had? I wish that dudes didn't constantly feel the need to make us feel uncomfortable. <laughs> like, I, I wish, like, the... Oh, I freaking hated that day that the guy, we were standing on the platform... At Grand Central? No. With the sunglasses? Oh, that guy was an asshole. But no, I'm talking about the guy that was like, ugh, it's like, looks like two dudes kissing. And, like... The, at at fifty sec or at forty six whatever like oh you remember that in the guy? morning it was in like the morning on and our I way was to like, work I was so angry about it because like I also feel like this weird like oh I'm not allowed to be this feminine if I'm gonna be dating a girl like I just got comfortable being like I'm gonna wear makeup because I like it and I'm gonna grow my hair out a little bit because I miss it. In terms of, like, our person, like, I just wish that, like, other people didn't infringe on, like, our cute little bubble. I agree with that. <laughs> In terms of, like, family and, like, everybody. I like, agree with that. my parents and their unsolicited opinions about what we look like. My dad, the fact that he said that day, like, <clears throat> oh, um, why do you guys both need to have short hair? Like, or, what are you, <sighs> what are you trying to prove to people? Or something like that. And I was like, absolutely nothing. I wanted to chop all my hair off, though. Because I, like, like, because I can, <laughs> like, because I just, because it's none of your business. <laughs> Am I the best sex you've ever had? Definitely. Yeah? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Wait. Am I the Are you going to ask me? Yes. I'm, I was about to say, am I the best <laughs> that you've ever had? Yeah, definitely. You're, like, the most, like, emotionally, like, connected sex I've ever had. Yeah. It's like the best sex, but it's also like the best like... Also dudes don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> the other day on Valentine's Day when you were like, oh, um, this doesn't mean like, like this whole thing doesn't mean that we like have to have sex. I was like, wow, like you're right. Like just because somebody did this like whole super nice like valentine's -y thing doesn't for me mean doesn't me mean anything. i have to have sex with you yeah and then of course i was like okay great but like <laughs> <laughs> hey i love you i love you too <laughs> did i get lipstick on my face no cool. <laughs> what is the pain in me you wish you could heal I wish I could make you see like how beautiful you are. Like regardless of like, like regardless of like real, like, like beauty, like standards, like you, like I feel like the body stuff and like the food stuff, um, like, like I know that you're like working on that and you're like a lot happier with yourself, but sometimes I like worry that that like is dependent on the fact that like you can move and you can dance and like you are fit right now. I know. And I like need <laughs> I you worry to like, about that. I need you to like, I just want you to be able to like love you. Even when I'm independent not. of all that stuff. I was like, you're so beautiful and like so hot. <laughs> <laughs> but like also none of that shit matters, you know? Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it does like it just, matters how you feel about yourself. So like, yeah, right. I think, you know, it doesn't matter yeah. how you actually look, but you should does, feel right. that way. Yeah. That feeling matters. But so I wish I could like heal whatever part of you doesn't feel like you're good enough. Because like you are. Like you work so hard and you're so kind and 
and you like love people so much and that that's what matters like not whether or not you fit into those pants or you know like it's just that all that stuff is stupid and that's not you you know I love you you're really cute. I love you. Okay. Here next you go. Uh, next question? My turn? Yeah. Cool. What would make you leave me? Um. The thing that popped into my head was if you cheated on me, which is odd because, like, we have discussed, like, opening it openness, up. Or not opening it up. Like, I've, I feel like just, like, a general openness to like, oh, yeah. if something was to happen with somebody else, like we could just discuss it and get through it. Well, and like, like I know you're bi. Like I'm, I can't sell every need. Like I'm like, right. Know. Like I feel like cheating is like very different than like, babe. Like I made out with, <laughs> I'm out, and I like if you texted me and were like, babe, I made out with someone and like, at a bar and it was really hot. Like I would just be like, oh cool, like quashy cute. What do you wish for us in the next few years? I wish for both of us to like find more of who we are as a couple and ourselves at the same time and then like and also like kind of find our places like in our careers because I feel like we both are kind of searching for like what's next yeah we're in the middle for ourselves you we're said. in the middle of middle school of our 20s it feels yeah. like yeah I feel like we just need to like flesh out like some of the rest of our lives because I feel so solid and so grounded and connected to you like, even when we have fights or, like, yeah. issues, like, we had one last night, and I'm looking at you and now, and I'm, like, I feel, like, yeah, that anger feels so far away, yeah. and, like, that, all those things feel so far, and Aww. the rest of the world doesn't seem so scary when I get you at the end of the day to come home to, so I just want us to keep going out there to face the big, bad world, and I know, like, someday you're going to be a great mom, you know? And like all that stuff like I'm just like I'm like I know it's down the road but like someday I, like I look forward to being a mom with you <laughs> and like seeing how like you interact with like our babes and stuff oh. it's, gonna, it's gonna be so cool even just seeing how much you love your plants like makes me love you more like it's so <laughs> funny like you're just like look how happy my plantica is and I'm like oh my god i love her so much and <laughs> makes me smile to see you smile at your plant like <laughs> yeah i love you i love you too <laughs> you're my girl you're my girl you're my goober okay. this is cool okay <laughs> high five did I get all over me? Like everywhere, yeah. The struggle <laughs> being a lesbian. <laughs>Hey guys, Andy again. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy our work, help us make more at theskindeep.com slash Patreon. We really appreciate it. Bye guys.